this video we're going to show you how to test your sealed beam headlight on your plow with your power probe 3 tool and you can take a short harness and you can plug it into your light harness and uh, the orange wire and the green wire are your two ground wires the orange is for the, the high and low beam the green wire is for your turn and park now you could take your ground wire off your power probe 3 tool and ply it to the orange. Then you could take the red and the black wire, ply power to the black. That will give you your low beam. Ply power to the red will give you your high beam. Then if you want to test your parking single, take your ground wire, put it onto the green wire power to your blue wire which is your signal and apply power to your yellow wire which is your part. If you unscrew the four screws and you can pop this headlight out. Now we got the sealed beam out of the light. You can take your uh, probe tool, you can take your uh, ground wire, you can hook it to this uh, pin here which is your ground and then you can take apply power this could test for your low beam and you could test for your high beam to see if the light is good. You could, um, we're going to show you how to test the bulbs if they're any good on your turn or park. So you remove these two screws, screws and you could pull that lens off. We have pulled out the, um, the bulb off the top of the light and uh, this is the park in the single, the dual bulb. And you take your probe tool and you take the ground wire, put it on the side of the bulb, and you push power, you apply to the pin, that's your turn, and this one is your park. And that's how you can test the bulb. You want to make sure these solder points are round and bubbly, not flattened and worn out. And pretty much copy the same procedure as the double bulb. Now we're going, you could test the single bulb with your power probe tool but you want to make sure that solder is nice and a little bubbly not flat and another thing you want to check is to make sure there's no rust in the socket here and make sure this ground wire is tight and you also want to make sure these pins are nice and round instead of flattened or wore out to make sure you got good contact between the bulb and that pin on the wire